The beautiful laid-back city of Luang Prabang in Laos has a lot of sites and activities to offer its visitors. But one of the most interesting places to spend the morning here is located on a farm just outside the city. At the Living Land Farm, you can spend half a day learning about how rice is grown and experience the life of a typical Lao farmer. In this video, I will show you the stages of organic rice farming and how it's presented on this farm. The first stage is to select the best quality seeds for planting. You do this by mixing an amount of salt into a bowl of water until the water is salty enough to make an egg float. When you then fill the bowl with rice seeds, the full grain seeds will sink to the bottom, while the less quality seeds will stay floating. For the initial planting stage, you get a good feel of the elements. The mud in the fields is soft and comfortable, but you better wear your shortest trousers and not fall over, especially with a camera in hand. I'm not bothered if I So after you finish to preparing like this, you just put your rice seed on. Ladies. So after you put Then you move on to land preparation. And on the living land farm, this is done with the help of the pink buffalo Rudolph. It's not as easy as it looks, but everyone is welcome to try. <laughs> Anyone else would like to try, please? Yeah. A little bit tricky. Oh. There are two main ways of establishing rice plants, direct seeding and transplanting. Here you get to experience the transplanting technique, where rice plants are first grown to a certain size on a seabed and then moved and planted in the wet field. This is the most popular technique in Asia. It requires less seed, but more labor. As for the harvesting technique, I leave it up to the professional to explain. Harvest by the sickle. It is sharp and dangerous. When you harvest, you have to very be careful. I show you first how to harvest. To harvest, you hold the rice like this. When you cut, please not cut too close your finger. You will lose it. Don't pull too strong. You will cut your leg. And not pull like this. You will cut your friend. And about this high, the one. You turn the sickle down like this, and then you pull away from your leg. So keep harvest like And of course, you can try it out yourself as well. Yeah, yeah. Do it right up. Very good. After the harvesting, it is time to retire from the fields, get rid of all the mud on your legs, and prepare for the final stages of the process. After the rice plants have dried out, it is time to separate the rice seeds from the plant. You know, mostly. Yeah. But this is not for fighting, this is for work. See how this works. This is to grab the bunch of the rice. Your leg, you have to step on here, one leg, and then you pick like this. Take a bit, you open, and you pull it <laughs> <laughs> So would you like to try? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and to get rid of the leftovers, a softer method is used. The last part of the rice growing process is extracting the rice grain. And the first part of this stage was not possible to try out for the visitors, for obvious reasons. The last part though was a bit easier. Good job, you can marry it. <laughs> After finishing the rice growing process, you get some good points on how to boil the rice. And then, some hands-on experience with freshly squeezed sugarcane juice. That is sugar cane, it uh, has been cleaned the skin already. We take all of the skin. Hoi, hoi. The farm also has some experts in making bamboo products. 
and you will get a short introduction to the skill. As well as an opportunity to try it out yourself. And finally, the amazing half day at the Living Land Farm ends with a sampling of some tasty rice snacks. And share together. Enjoy anyone.